Okay, in this video we're getting practice with factoring the difference of two cubes. And of course the difference of two cubes, uh, as we've been talking about in other videos, refers to um, the situation where we're given some kind of polynomial and we could rewrite it as one cube subtracted y cubed, in this case subtracted from x cubed. Right? We can represent it as a difference and then we can factor it. And the formula, of course, we start with x minus y, and then multiply it by x squared, plus, we were subtracting, so now we have the opposite sign, xy plus y squared. And this is the, the guiding formula, which it makes a lot of sense. Go back and watch some of the other videos where I talk about where this comes from. There's even a wonderful picture about why it makes sense. But, but here, we're going to talk about how to apply this formula. Let's start with y to the sixth minus eight. Let's start with that one. Um, for that one, right, we can represent this as two cubes. We can rewrite it as y, right, squared to the third power. If you remember with exponents, right, y squared to the third power, that is y to the sixth, right? Because when you have the exponents raised to an exponent, a shortcut is to multiply them. You can think of this almost as taking y cubed, y squared, and cubing it. So y squared, and another y squared, and another y squared, and you're multiplying all of them, that's 2, 4, 6 y squareds. So when you say y squared to the third power, it means this right here. And that's really the same thing as y to the sixth. So in other words, well, I can rewrite this because, excuse me, I'm messing up there. You can rewrite this as y to the second to the third power because, of course, they're equal, but also because it's helpful. Now what I've done is taken y to the sixth power and rewritten it as a cube. In this case, the cube is just y to the second cubed. And I'm almost ready now to use this formula because now with 8, we can write that as 2 to the third power because that is just 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So now we have the difference or the the, um, we're subtracting two cubes, right? y squared cubed minus two cubed. And that helps us because now we can simply apply this formula. What do we do? Well, look what it says. It says take x minus y. So in this case, x is the y squared term right here. The whole thing. So it's, it's y squared is x. And y in this case is our second term. It's 2. So now we just apply the formula x minus y. So that's a little confusing because we're switching our y's and x's here. So the first term I'll say minus the second term and just the basis. So y squared minus 2 times our first term squared. So y squared squared. And what's that? What's well, y to the fourth, right? You're squaring a square. And then we add. 2y to the second. All I'm doing there is multiplying the first and second bases, as it says to do right here, x times y. And then we add in 2 squared, or 4. And this is the factored form of the difference of these two cubes right here. And now we can apply that to solve the next one, which is 8p to the third minus 125y to the ninth. And this looks nasty, but we can also rewrite this as the difference of two cubes. So what do we do? Well, first let's rewrite it as the difference of two cubes. 8p to the third, well, what, what's actually happening here? Well, I would think of 8 as 2 to the third. And p right, to the third is already written as a cube. So I'm going to reshuffle all of, of these terms in a moment, but I'm just pointing out how to break apart the coefficient and variable and rewrite them as cubes. I'm going to do the same thing in the next part, where it says 125y to the ninth. Well, I know that 5 to the third power is 125, okay? And I know that y to the ninth, we could rewrite that as a cube by saying y to the third, right? to the third power. And now we're, we're basically ready. We can just reshuffle these terms. So what about 2 to the third and p to the third? What if I wrote it like this? 2p 
to the third. This is essentially the same thing. We're saying cube every part of this. And that's what we're doing right here, 2 cubed and p cubed. And then from that, we subtract the next thing. And I'm going to rewrite this as 5y cubed to the third power. And the reason these are the same is because almost you can think of this exponent being distributed to every part inside the parentheses. So this really means take the 5 and cube it and take the y and cube it. And this is useful now because we've reduced this nasty looking thing into something cubed minus another thing cubed. And that is the difference of two cubes. And now we can apply the formula to factor this out. So, how do we factor this out? Well, we're going to take the first term and subtract the second from it. So it's going to start off, and I'm running out of room, so I'll write, um, I'll, I'll try to squeeze it down here. No, that's a bad idea. I'll write it all the way up here, and then I'll clear the board off for the last problem. So it's going to be 2p, the first term, minus 5y cubed, which is the second term. Then we're going to multiply that by 2p squared, right? You take the first term and you square it. And that's actually going to end up being 4p to the second power, because you square both the 2 and the p. And then we add 2p times 5y cubed, which is what? We'll multiply the two coefficients of 2 and 5 to get 10. Multiply the p in the y third and leave that as p times y to the third. And then, of course, we add the second term squared. So we're actually going to square 5y cubed. So 5y cubed times 5y cubed. To multiply these out, we can multiply the two coefficients to get 25. And multiply the two exponents. So y to the third times y to the third. So it's three y's multiplied by another three y's. That gives you y to the sixth. So 25y to the sixth. Let me read this in case it's too small to read. It says 2p minus 5y cubed. That's the first two terms subtracted. Then 4p squared, that's 2p to the second power, the first term squared, plus the product of these two terms, which is 10py cubed, plus 25y, and then, I'm not sure if this is clear right here, but that should say y to the sixth power. This is an exponent. That's the basic idea. We have one left. 125x cubed minus 216. Let me clear the board off. So 125x cubed minus 216. This one's hard to recognize, I think, at first. But one, I guess, the common cubes you should recognize is 6 to the third power. 6 to the third power is 216. So we can rewrite this second term as 6 to the third. We can rewrite the first term again by breaking up the coefficient in the variable. The variable itself is already being raised to the third power. But 20, 125, remember that's 5 cubed. So we have 5 cubed times x cubed. And now I'm just going to reshuffle this. It's going to be 5x to the third. Right, that whole thing. And that, those parentheses are very important. Otherwise, that exponent only applies to the variable next to it, like it did in the beginning. This variable 3 only applies to the x because there's no parentheses around all this stuff. And as I said in other videos, exponents are sticky and only apply to the thing that's right next to. But in this case, there are parentheses around everything, so the exponent sticks to everything. So anyway, we have 5x to the third minus 6 to the third, and we have the difference of two cubes. Again, our formula says to do what? Well, take the first term, right, and the second term, the bases and subtract them. So we get 5x minus 6. That is going to be multiplied by 5x squared. And I have room this time so I can actually write this out before I simplify. We're going to add right, 5x times 6 and then we're going to add 6 squared. And now we just simplify. So 5x minus 6. 5x squared is really 25x squared. So I squared the 5, and the x is still squared. Here, to multiply 5x and 6, I should get 30x's. And then 6 squared becomes 36. And now we've factored it out. All right, so I hope this helped a little bit with the difference of cubes. Thanks.